Yo, what's good? It's your boy Lessa Power. Welcome to another Remnant 2 build video. But before I get started, I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I know I've been gone for Remnant 2 for a while, but it was a long needed break. You know what I'm saying? I spent some time with my family. I spent some time with my daughter. And honestly, it was awesome, man. My morale right now is at 100%. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to grind harder than ever. And also, I just want to let you know, I want to um, create all version 2s of my builds before the dlc so i've been going back and i've been looking at my builds and just trying to figure out how i can make these better but don't forget to like comment subscribe i appreciate all you guys for coming through and supporting me man also i do have memberships as well but don't forget to like comment subscribe let's get into the build all right first starting off with the traits as always we got ammo reserves because we're running gunslinger it's a level 10 Next we got Fortify at level 10, we got uh, Long Shot at level 10, Regrowth at level 10, um, Expertise at level 10, we got Spirit at level 10, Endurance at level 2, Vigor at level 10, we got Swiftness at level 10, um, Bart Skin at level 10, Siphoner at level 10, and we got Footwork at level 8. You're actually going to move around the battlefield pretty quickly. Next for the skills, I'm actually going to recommend Hunter's Mark. This actually highlights enemies around you within 35 meters. It also gives you increased damage. And also what I did notice is like you proc Hunter's Mark and then you proc two relics. It gives you a 40 second cooldown time, which is absolutely insane. And then don't forget, we also got Dare to Rights to keep your Hunter skills up even, even more. And then next we got Bullet Storm. This increases your fire rate by 20%. And then it gives you a 50% increase to reload speed. And then it makes single shot weapons automatic. So since the Nightfall is single shot, it'll make it automatic when you proc the skill. For the armor, we got the Crown of the Red Prince. We got the Little Mark 1 armor. We got the High Noon Souls. And then we got the Little Mark 2 gloves. Next, we got uh, 212 armor, as you can see. For the relic, we got the Shielded Heart. On use, grants 100% shield on use. Last 20 seconds. And then we got Mythic Range Critical Hit Damage. Mythic Range Critical Hit Chance. And Mythic Range Damage. Next, for our main weapon, is the Nightfall Plus 10. And you know the Nightfall is one of the strongest weapons in the game. It comes with Dreadwalker. This gives you 25% rate of fire, 10% increase uh, life steal, and the gun becomes fully automatic. So you got two ways to make this gun fully automatic. You can prop Gunslinger or you can use Dreadwalker. Next we got Twisted, wo Twisted Wounds. And this increases your damage to bleeding enemies by 20%. And then at level 10, whenever you hit a weak spot or a critical hit, you actually apply bleeding to the target. Next we got the Dream Catcher plus 10 with Dream Wave and Latency plus 10. And what Latency does is basically allow you to proc Dream Wave with one or two hits. That way you'll have another way to slow down enemies. Because we're also pairing this with the Song of Ether as well. So like the MP60R has the Song of Ether and that slows enemies down and gives you some type of damage reduction. And then we got the Prophecy plus 10, reducing the amount of um, my regeneration required for the Song of Ether. Next for the rings, we got Favor and Sigil. Critical and weak spot hits generate 10% additional mod power. You need this to consistently proc Dreadwalker. And then next we got Zania's Malice. This gives you up to 30% extra weak spot damage. You can't beat that at all. And then next we got the Probability Core. This increases your critical hit damage by 30%. And next we got the Burner of the Destroyer. This increases your damage by 15% and decreases ideal range by 25%. And also whenever you're fighting a boss with like a big weak spot like the Ravenger or Annihilation. Just swap out with the Ring of Fall of Beauty to get that extra 25% weak spot damage. And also as well, um, whenever you don't hit a weak spot, your uh, damage is reduced by 15%. Keep that in mind with the Ring of Fall of Beauty. And next we got that Brace of Whetstone, increasing your uh, crit chance by 15% and your critical hit damage by 30% to bleeding enemies. But that's the build. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys for coming through. Deuces.